everyone uh, mohammad arshad from decoding data science uh, today uh, we are going to talk about summarization using prompt we all uh, seen in the last video how we generate uh, prompts in python to summarize uh, data or whatever analysis we are doing now what we are going to do is we are going to give texts we all of us have reviews uh, feedbacks in the form of text that we can use in the open AI to analyze it, to talk about specific things that are there, to uh, get insights about uh, your particular uh, feedback. So for one example, for one of our clients recently uh, for a building in Dubai, we had to do reviews on the customer information for buildings. So we had lot around thousand plus of uh, open text about uh, the community, about the parking and all those things. We had to analyze the top five or six uh, main key points that people are talking about. So generally what did we do is we took that whole uh, text and put it in uh, chat GPT to summarize us the most frequently occurring words that were there. So that is one thing that we can generally do using the uh, prompts that are there. And uh, now coming back again, what are the importance of summarizing your prompts in uh, Python? We will uh, straight in dive to our uh, Google Colab notebook. So uh, what we are doing, the use case scenario is we are using the same codes as before, the same process. We are getting the API key from our uh, open API dashboard. And then we are uh, doing the uh, same calls that we discussed earlier on in our previous video. Here, uh, the context is that we are giving the product review of the courses within our decoding data science. So this is one of the product reviews of an individual that had written about it in uh, our uh, data science learning management system. So what we can do is uh, we have we can check now the prompt. Like suppose we have the product review that is there. Now we have we can give the uh, a prompt to specifically tell that uh, the task is to generate a short summary of the product review from the decoding data website summarize uh, the review below delimited by a triple uh, back ticks this one this product review that is here in at most 30 words so uh, you see that this length is very huge but here they just want to summarize you just want to get a quick summary so this is a open AI uh, GPT is it really helps us to uh, summarize the data. It has a very inbuilt functionality of summarizing. So this whole text that is there uh, and we summarize it and you can see what it is mentioning. Decoding data science AI course is a comprehensive and valuable program covering a wide range of topics with knowledgeable instructors, practical examples and high quality learning resources. And now you will see all these words have been used here. It is nothing that it is taking out and hallucinating. It is taking from the uh, input that is there. It is a top notch option for developing AI skills. So this, this word feels very important for them. So you can see this, uh, it has taking uh, this particular thing. Overall, they have already used the word overall. So, Decoding data science AI course is a top notch option for individuals. So this point also it, it, it wrote for it wrote here as well. So you can see it summarized the whole text in 30 words that are there. You can play around with this uh, mo uh, more. You can also tell uh, here uh, in place of summarize, if you just want to see most uh, occurring word with frequency I don't want to uh, let me just uh, keep this for you guys and uh, let me open uh, this code in a new window 
to just to see uh, most frequently used words with their count so now it is basically counting uh, let me remove this part your task is to generate a generate most frequency users event let us see so you can see how it has given uh, and you can see uh, you can most frequently used uh, words you can in place of this top uh, display only top 5 display only top 5 display uh, only the ones only the ones which has more than one occurrence so this is going to give us the uh, top four words that have been used uh, that uh, i can also mention ignore the ignore the stop words So this is the way which can help you tell you the number of words. So this is a very small text. Suppose you have multiple uh, reviews that are there. You want to do that. Uh, and you can get that. So this is the thing that you can do it. It is not still understanding well. So let me uh, play around with this more. Display only the ones. Okay. Uh, generate most frequently used words. Display. Uh, ignore the stop words ignore the stop words display uh, display the, the words the only one the words which has more than one display uh, the words the, I'll just to be uh, display the to, I'll just put the top five is not um, taking the thing but uh, a logic of more than one the top five in uh, instance in north of stop but let us see so you can see what is happening executing seven eight seconds nine seconds it is uh, taking some time because it is calculating the uh, number, the exact number that is there and giving you an output. Okay, so it, this is actually displaying the everything. Why this is coming? Your task is to generate uh, because this thing and it is taking the, the this part, display the top five words. So it is taking this output. Uh, if I need to do this, then uh, I have to do here. The task is to display five instances of the most uh, real the count uh, yeah, and ignore. So everything should be linked together. So that's why what it is doing it is taking the first instance and then it is giving is uh, the second instance. So we need to uh, mention both. Now you can see now it is working properly. AI is mentioned three times, course is mentioned three times. So this is a very good way to summarize and give the prompt. You saw how I developed the prompt to get the proper output. You cannot give two instructions in the same prompt. So the you need to make it properly. So now suppose we need to uh, ask them, uh, your task is to generate short summary, uh, review from the decoding data science to give the feedback to the content creator department. Summarize the review below delimited by tri uh, triple back tricks 
take at most 30 words and focus on any aspect that mentioned content and instructors and the instructors of the product so it is going to focus on the content and the instructors of the product so first thing first thing it is uh, focusing on the content is highly valuable with knowledgeable instructors providing clear explanation and practical example the course is well structured with good balance between theoretical concepts and hands-on project and high quality learning resources enhancing the customer experience so i actually only wanted specific information from the prompts that were there and i did not want other things about uh, the price and all i just wanted to focus on the content and the instructors which i got it here so now what we have in the next scenario suppose as we know we have multiple reviews for our company right so suppose in this case we have multiple reviews Re review one review two and review uh, there are four reviews the first review you took from the top already the second review we have entered uh, from my website i took it from a learning management system from one of our clients uh, and uh, they have written a lot of good things about us and i thank you to them the, who have uh, given wonderful reviews to our professional academy and uh, so there are four reviews now i want to go in each review and understand what is happening so i have written a task so your task is to generate a short summary of a product review and summarize every four one in a particular loop so sub, so this is going to go to every review that is there and it is giving us so the first one is talking uh, giving us this the second one is giving us this and now you can see there is some uh, rate limit uh, per minute uh, so the loops generally this is a free version so the loops are not working so what we can do is we can just take uh, three reviews and just see for now let us just take three reviews okay let us take this okay so give us some time but it is going to re review everything and it is going to give an output so they are asking to wait for 30 seconds so prompt is very good for summarizing how we can summarize in python and the main thing that we understood was we have to give instruction in a such a way that uh, you have to only have one instruction and supporting uh, examples and uh, for that particular instruction i have told you there are mainly four types of uh, prompts that are there question instruction example and uh, there is there is one more uh, as well instructions questions uh, examples and tasks so that is what we are giving now let us run this again uh, review i think it has run the one two and so, so these uh, uh, have summarized and it has told it has uh, told about this so now suppose uh, what we want to do is we have we have done the uh, we have done this loop here also now we can uh, ask this same thing over here uh, we have four 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 in, uh, you can say reviews now we suppose we want to know in these four reviews we want to know this we in the four reviews in this loop what happens uh, we are going to ask them uh, display top five instance of the most uh, frequently used words uh, with their count so suppose the same example that i gave you that i have done for uh, thousands of uh, comments of a building community uh, and uh, this gave us the top frequency word so now i am running the loop and uh, it is giving me uh, the frequency of words that people have used in every word and uh, this is uh, to give you a good insight and now suppose you want to aggregate this and do it so how will aggregate this and do it now we have already reviews here if i remove if i just uh, remove i I remove I here and uh, response is equal to uh, then I just give this particular step I suppose I want to find it in a combined way this I have done 
to find it out in a uh, in a individual manner suppose i want to combine and find it out control z then i will go here and i will print it here okay sorry about that so now taking everything together uh, it is printing it three times uh, why because okay but it is combining everything and it is printing the thing that is there so we have total six people are talking about the course ai and learning so that is what we want to finalize and we want to use it uh, according to our uh, analysis. So this is how we summarize the data. We use uh, Python is very, very good uh, to do that. And ChatGPT and the open API has really helped us summarizing huge text of data to find out insights and value. So you can, this code will be shared in the open uh, on the Google Colab and the GitHub location. You can try out with it using your own, um, you can say uh, API key, try to play around with this, try to take text out of your real work that you are doing and try to summarize it. So I have showed you the real use case of my decoding data science learning management system, wherein I have a lot of reviews and what are the people actually talking about. And this really helps me to do that and also summarizing it according to uh, doing analysis on that this is just one simple use case that i do for my uh, data science academy which i wanted to share with you you can also try out these things and talk about this in the comment below thank you and have a great day bye bye